Hi friends, my name is Summer Swallow. I'm an environmental educator at Pepperwood Preserve located in Santa Rosa, California. We're a nonprofit organization dedicated to conservation, research, and education. Our mission is to inspire conservation through science. Our 3,200 acre nature preserve is a living laboratory and home to over 900 species of plants and animals. One of those animals is the black bear, our topic for today. Historically, Sonoma County had grizzly bears. That's who's on California state flag. However, grizzlies are now extinct in California. So instead we have black bears who can have a brown or cinnamon colored fur coat, which is confusing I know, but they're black bears. To help gain understanding about our wildlife, including black bears, Pepperwood has set up 20 wildlife cameras on our preserve. The more we understand our black bear neighbors, the better able we are to live peacefully with them. This is part of the mission of the North Bay Bear Collaborative, a working group dedicated to being proactive liaisons between humans and bears. Together, we can create a healthy bear culture and share the beautiful landscapes in California that we all enjoy and rely upon. So with that in mind, are you ready to see what the black bears at Pepperwood are up to? Me too. Let's go. Let's start by observing. What do you notice? Black bears are curious creatures, just like us. What sense do you think they're using right now? It looks to me like they're using their nose. Did you know bears are thought to have the best sense of smell in the animal kingdom? Their sense of smell is seven times better than a bloodhound, or 2,100 times better than a human's. Whoa. I'm gonna go secure my picnic lunch. Not only do bears use their fantastic sense of smell to find their next meal, but it's also involved in bear-to-bear -bear communication. I wonder if this bear is leaving their scent on our game camera. Or maybe they just needed a good scratching post. What do you think? Here's a mama bear with her cubs. She will teach them everything she knows to help prepare them for life. Bear cubs are deeply dependent upon their mother and they stay with her until they're about 18 months to two years old. Living on a preserve like Pepperwood is a great place to raise her cubs. Our diverse forest habitat provides good shelter and lots of food options like berries, acorns, insects, and a variety of leaves. In fact, black bears are mostly vegetarian. They're also opportunistic omnivores, meaning they can eat a lot of different types of food if they're given the chance. Once a bear associates a particular location as a food source, they'll likely keep returning, just like we repeatedly visit our favorite restaurants. So if you live in or visit bear country, what does this mean? That's right, secure your food. Small steps which help prevent close encounters like this. Do you notice all those speckles on their fur coats? What could those be? They're plant seeds. Bears are vital to dispersing plant seeds. Some cling to their fur as they move through the forest, while others are inside the fruits they eat, which are later deposited in a pile of scat. In this way, bears help sustain the plant life where they live. Now earlier I mentioned how forests provide bears with shelter and food. Here's another reason bears love trees. I wonder if the tree minds being a scratching post. What do you think? That was really neat getting a glimpse into the secret life of bears. I had no idea about their phenomenal sense of smell. That's a really good motivation for me to always make sure I secure my trash and compost bin. While I totally understand being food motivated, I really don't want my property or campsite looking like a bear-friendly buffet spread. So if you're concerned or curious about bears, I encourage you to reach out to a local conservation group like the North Bay Bear Collaborative. 
The more we learn, the better able we are to keep everyone safe, humans and bears alike. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Wild Wonders. I hope I'll see you again soon. And until next time, keep exploring and being curious about the wonders of nature all around us. Take care. Bye.